What is up guys, Ted here with The A-Team. A few weeks ago, I had the chance to meet with Jeff Shepard, a film and television location scout who's worked on shows like Parks and Rec, Straight Outta Compton, Shameless, the list goes on. He's a real location scout and probably one of the best ever. We were fortunate enough to hear some of his best hacks for location scouting like a pro, so let's jump right in. Number one, take photos. No, I don't just mean iPhone photos. Take photos with a real professional camera. Remember that every detail counts when someone is relying on those photos to make a creative decision. Jeff also explained to us that the photos he takes need to be as high resolution as possible because they will often become a part of the storyboarding process of the art department's first ideas on how to dress the space. Number two, Google the address. By looking up your location before you shoot there, you can learn important details like real estate info or if it's ever been on the news. You'll also be able to judge how iconic a scene is based on the number of search results that come up, which is surprisingly important. Also, sometimes Googling the address will bring up historical facts that could add depth to your story. If it's recognizable and people know that something happened there, it might add a little bit more meaning to your story. Remember, location scouting can be creative. Number three, smaller towns and historic areas often encourage filming. There's usually a person whose sole job is to promote filming in their community. And if you can find that person, make them your best friend, they will make the task of finding your locations infinitely easier. Number four, try location sites. Recently, we've been seeing newer sites like Rappel and Set Scouter, where anyone is able to list their property or film location for hire. Though their focus is currently still in larger cities like LA or New York, these can act as a great middle person for booking locations at a bargain price, and sometimes they'll even include insurance too. Number five, ask your production to go smaller or go handheld. Now, if you're filming with a smaller camera or iPhone, you could try losing the rig. Now, many cities don't require a permit as long as you don't set up a tripod and as long as your crew size is below three. That said, these rules do vary city by city, so try calling your local film office to confirm what their specific requirements for this are. And even in LA, the mecca of, oh, why do I need a permit for literally everything? You'll see crews going smaller and smaller to avoid these regulations. Sean Baker, for example, was a director that was able to make his Sundance hit Tangerine without permits by shooting on an iPhone. And on the digital end, you can see this in videos like on the Corridor Digital channel when they decide to shoot using GoPros like their real life GTA video. Number six, use floor protection. Now, obviously keeping a location clean and tidy is key. You wanna make your location owner happy so it doesn't charge you for additional damages. But Jeff made a point to stress floor protection as one of the most important points to remember when managing locations. Now, for starters, ram board or carpet protection are really easy, affordable ways and things that you can find at any hardware store. However, if you don't want to lug around that roll of fabric, an easier starting method of protection is bringing a bag of split tennis balls to set with you. Number seven, put your location on hold. Now, the nice thing about location scouting is that most people aren't too familiar with the process. This includes property owners, which means that you can usually get away with putting a location on hold even without paying a deposit or a holding fee. Jeff went as far as saying that when he's scouting for a show, he'll sometimes go as far as putting five to 10 of similar locations on hold for several months in advance so that his creative departments, when they wanna make a decision, have all the choices they can have. Number eight, lastly, if traditional methods of finding locations aren't working for you or are too expensive, it might be time to give non-traditional location scouting methods a try. Websites like Airbnb or Craigslist are not designed for finding film locations, but they do have over 3 million listings. And though some hosts might ask for an additional 10%, 50% for film shoots, this option may be useful in finding more traditional residential locations in lesser known areas. So there you have it. There's your episode on location hacks with Jeff Shepard. Make sure to follow Jeff at Jeff Shepard on Instagram. Leave us a comment below with a location hack that we haven't mentioned yet. We're going to pick the best comment and give out not only one of our space lights, but also one of our new light dome minis to the best comment. Make sure you follow Aperture on Facebook, Instagram, The Works. I'm Ted from the A-Team, and we'll catch you guys next time.